Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today I'm going to set this Bubba Basra Daf Gimel. We're going to begin on Gimel Amud Aleph, the top line, the Lishna Achrina. So we were learning in the introductory first Daf of this very long Masechta regarding partners that wanted to be able to make a machitza. So there was a discussion, what exactly does that word mean, machitza? Does it mean a physical wall, a permanent wall with stones, or is it just some type of division? And the Mishnah also says the word shiratsu, that they wanted to do it, which we ended up making some type of inference, a diuk, that there may be a difference between ratsu and lo ratsu. And the Gemara also discussed at great length whether or not we apply the principle of hezek re'iya shmei hezek. If seeing something is considered to be a form of damage. So if you have a neighbor that is able to look into your private affairs, is that considered to have the din of hezek? And therefore, because of that, there's some benefit of having a wall. So lishna chrina. Amrila savura mai machitza puta. What did it mean in our Mishnah that these partners who wanted to build a machitza? It just means a division. So we see that the word mechasas doesn't mean mamish a wall, it just means that they divided up the assembly. But since they wanted to, to build a wall, balkarchan, even against their will. So we see again here uh, a proof, and we've been going back and forth, whether or not this is true. That Hezek or Ea, whether it is considered to be, um, whether that's considered to be Hezek. Says Rashi, he wanted Rotsu Lach like, since they wanted to divide it, will come and parach, my ere Rotsu, if he will Rotsu, harahin yuchon lochif zedze. So that we're making this statement that they, they wanted to divide it. Says Rashi, but time of the Rotsu, shehisnu lacholka, but koislav on them, that they made a condition that they wanted to divide it. Uh, there are two areas of this courtyard with a wall of stone, which is mash maholo rotsu. If they didn't want in mechayevin also, they would not be required to actually have a physical wall, but at least el mechipas ba'alma, some uh, less of a temporary wall. So ema my mechitza guda. So maybe a mechitza is taka a wall. No, in mechitza is a keram susan yesterday's daf. When it comes to a wall, <coughs> a physical wall, which separates a vineyard from a neighbor's garden, which is of wheat. And of course, if you have wheat and grapes that are in close proximity, there could be an iser of kelayim, of forbidden mixtures. Shinifritza, the wall fell down. And the problem is without the wall, it has to be further apart. However, with a wall, you could put these things right next to one another, essentially, or closer together, because you have a wall separating it. So once the wall falls, it becomes an issue of kilayim. So therefore, Omer Gador, so they say, build it, build a wall. Nifritza, Omer Gador, it keeps saying, rebuild it. This Yaishimanu, so in the event where he gives up, Vulgador, and he decides not to build it, Harzek Kidesh, it becomes, the grain becomes Kidesh, which means it's an issue of kilayim that there has to be a one in two hundred mixture to matter it. The usa, and you're also chayiv for this responsibility of tampering and uh, this commingling. Now the taima, that's it. So that's the raya. Now the taima, the rotsu. Again, the fact that the Mishnah said that they wanted to do this, that's why it's built. Hal rotsu, mashma if they don't want to, and Machayavan also. It's actually mashma that they don't have to, even though each person is looking into each other's chatzar, or into their part of the chatzar. So Alma Hezek Ria loves Shmei Hezek. So we actually see a raya on the contrary. The Hezek Ria is not Hezek. So Ihachi Boinen as a Kaisel, Boinen Osome Boile. Why does it say build the wall, just say build it as the same uh, question that we said before that uh, if in fact we're talking about um, this lack of a chiyav because we don't hold the hezekriya is a lav shmei hezek 
and it's only because you want to, otherwise you don't have to, then it shouldn't say boinen, uh, it should say boinen oso, going back to what we said before. Elamai, you want to tell me it's just a division? Hachi, shorotsu lasos machitza, shorotsu lachatsois me boile. <clears throat> the language of a machitza sounds like a solid, sturdy wall. It, it should just use the word lachatsois to split it up, like chatsos means like the middle of the night. It splits the night. That's what half of it is. So, Kedi Amri Inchi taught Tevid Plukta, go and make this separation. Vi Hezek or Iyashme Hezek, my Yerotsu, if you'll Rotsu Nami. So, again, so it's not necessarily an issue as far as the answer. Uh, the answer over here is that this is how how, how people speak, right? They, they say, Ta Nevid Plukta. But when they say that, they could be referring to... Um, uh, a wall, <clears throat> or not a wall. It, this, the fact that they say the language, you don't have to use the word lachatzais. Okay, you could say lachatzais mechitza. Davi hezek ria shmei hezek, if in fact just seeing is a form of damage, so my iri ratzo feel ratzunami, and understand. Why does it matter if the partners agree to having built a wall, then you build a wall? It again, doesn't make sense. Well, chayra, as we said before, even if they one party doesn't want, the other party could say, listen, I want a wall because otherwise there's Hezek over here. So Rav Asi, Rav Yochanan, Mishnah Seinu B'Shein Badin Chaluka. Our Mishnah is talking about the problem is that even though maybe you're right, normally you would have to build a wall, even if low Ratsu. But over here, it's not a very large Chatzar. And therefore, by putting a partition in between these two halves, you're going to end up having not even a living space because it's going to be so small for each person. But who the Ratsu? The only reason why we will build this, even though it doesn't have a Din Chalukah, is because they both agreed to it. Which is Mashman, if they wouldn't have agreed to it because it doesn't have a Din Chalukah, so therefore the Din is that <clears throat> we're not going to build it. So my Kamashman, what does this come to teach us? Dechi lace but Din Chalukah, that when there's it's not big enough, Ki Ratsu Pligi. So you're going to tell me only when they want will we divide it. So Tanina, Amos Abizman Shein Shneim Roitzim. It says when they don't want. Avol Abizman Shneim Roitzim. If they don't want. A few Pachas Mikan Cholkin. So we already have this. It's already explicit. Now, Ima Hasam Habamina, a few Pachas Mikan. If it's less Bimafisas Baalma, you would think that. When um, if it's less, then all you need is this less tempor the more temporary type of a structure, kamash mon hacha kaisel. That when both of them agree, so you can you can't say oh you both agreed. Uh, if it doesn't have a din chaluka, so maybe all you need to do now is be uh, No, it's necessary at that point to uh, agree to a wall. V'lisni ha v'lolisni hach. So why just mention one? Why didn't mention the other? So save it's Rikhale. The Kisviya Kaidish, when it comes to Kisviya Kaidish, when it comes to as Rashi says, Sefer Tyra, Shahu Bikra, Bikarachad, the Khinavim Uksubim, um Bigilyan Kish uh Kisefer Tyra, Alpha Bishish name wrote Zimlo Yachloku. If that there's a partnership of a Torah, so you can't say you'll take Bracious and Shamos and you'll take the, you know, uh, Vayikra and Bamidbar will split Devarim. You can't do that. You, you're not going to divide it up that way. Okay. Let's see the parentheses, <clears throat> which seems to be pretty long. If they actually want it, just let them retract. So, we're talking about a situation where there was already a Kenyan that was made, and therefore you can't back out. Since we're talking in our Mishnah, a case where there's no Din Chaluka, though the Chatzar is very small, but nonetheless they agree, why doesn't the Mishnah instead talk about a case which is a typical Chatzar, which is larger, that even if they don't want it, the, um, you could it's still you still build it. din chaluka. And if you want to teach us again, the case of it is large. Nami lo. 
you would think you would have a havimina that she'ain badin. If let's say it's not big enough, even if they want, you still don't do it. Kamash mu'an. In other words, you can't make a diak and say, well, our mission is talking about she'ain badin chaluka. Why? Well, maybe talking about the case where there's a din chaluka. It is big enough. And then maybe you can derive from here whether or not, based on Ratzel or Ratzel, whether Hezek or Yishmei Hezek. Now, the problem is that if you focus on that, then you're going to think that even if it's a situation where it does not have a Din Chaluka, then you would think that you would never divide it, even if they don't want to, which is a, a tremendous Chedish, that you would think like, if they both agree to it, who cares if it doesn't have a Din Chaluka? But that's the point. That if our mission is talking about a din chalukah that's large, so when it comes to a enma din chalukah, if it's not large, so then maybe you would think that you're never allowed to divide it up, even if ratzu, because you're basically causing that they're uh, a chatzu, which together there's some utility, now has no utility because each half is too small. Kamash mulan, that it doesn't matter. Even though it's small, but since they ratzu, so then in fact, uh, it will be divided. He says in the same. They don't want. They, if they do want to, to divide it, to divide it. So my lava kaisel. So must be talking about that they agree. You build a wall. Lo, Maybe it's just talking about this temporary structure. So listen, hava listen, ha. It's so safe at Srikhale. So again, this is all parentheses, so it's possible we could have skipped it entirely, <coughs> but that is uh, the interpretation. Okay, so again, our Mishnah is telling us, and let's look at question TA-17. So on this he says as follows Iri Bishain Din Chaluka. We're talking uh, our Mishnah T A seventeen. Again, the question was how if you hold that a machitz is just a division, so why does it say only Ratsu, even if it's low Ratsu? Why can't you at least you should have to do that? So the answer is because we're talking about it's Shain Ba Din Chaluka. And since it doesn't have a Din Chaluka, so the only reason why we will divide it is only because both of them agree to it. Because if both of them do not agree to it, only one, because it's too, too small, we're not going to force it to be divided. The second part of question TA-17, why can they not retract? So we said one answer is, we're talking a situation where... There was already a, a a Kenyan, and since there was already a Kenyan, so therefore because of that, um, uh, that is that you cannot simply uh, retract at that point because once you actually did some form of a Kenyan, then that that's it. Okay, that's going to be one of the answers. Actually, let's so let's just continue in the Gemara. So b'mayu kimta masnis mishen ba din chaluka. So ibish in ba din chaluka. So this is basically the question. So even though we kind of saw it, but this is this is TA-17 as well. Why in the event that they both want, right? So we said it's not Din Chaluka, but why can't we just say that they can just retract? So So one answer is because there was a Kenyan. And once a Kenyan was made, then you cannot just simply change your mind. These are just words. So, Kenyan Ba'alma, Kenyan Devar Ba'alma is not, does not have any validity. So, the answer is, What does that mean? Says Rashi, So, one shows the eastern side of the courtyard, and the other one took the west side, and they did an actual Kenyan, and from now, So, therefore, there was already divisions, has already been calculated and divided up. So, therefore, at this point, uh, it cannot just simply, you can't just retract. Ravashi Omer, second answer, Ravashi says, Kigon, for example, Shaholach Zeh Betoich Shalo, 
the hichsek. Vzeh b'toich shlo the hichsek. Says Rashi, bechelko rafak be porta the karka nikna bechazaka achri asher lo asher rotsu b'shas chaluka. So he actually did an actual Kenyan. He did act some something to the ground to show that he's uh, kind of the land. So therefore, and we know that Kark is kind of with a chazaka. So if they did some type of physical act, so therefore, again, question 17, how come after they wanted, they cannot retract? They can't retract because they already made actual kinyanim, either beruchais, they divided up the, the, you take this side, you take this side, etc. Or they actually made a Kenyan Chazaka. So now we're going to explain the different types of uh, bricks or stones, which the Mishnah mentioned. The Mishnah began by saying, Makam Shnagal Livnos Gvil, Gozis, Kfisin, Levenin, Boinin. So you have to use whichever normal materials are used to build this wall. So you, whatever is what's typical in that community to build a wall, that's what's used. And the Mishnah discussed that each of them have different widths, and therefore its width has to be equally distributed on both sides. So Gavil is Avni Shlom Shaifa. These are stones that are not smoothed out. They're rough stones. Gozis is avni to mishafya. Gozis are smooth stones. These are all like precious stones. Kamidos gozis, the goimer. So gozis, again, is like a higher quality stone because it is smoothed out. Kfisin is arche. This is referring to like a half a brick. And Levainin is Livni, is a full brick, okay? So that is the basic definition of these things, as we already explained in yesterday's Dao. Normally, Rabba Bure to Rabba Ravashi. So he said to Ravashi, Mamai de Gvil, Avni Deloi Mishafia Ninhu. How do we know when we said Gvil, it's referring to um, these stones which are rougher in nature? which are not smoothed out, right? Gvil is the non, not smoothed stones. How do we know that's what Gvil is? Bahai tefach yisera, and the purpose of it being a tefach wider is lamorsha de karnasa, is because it wasn't smoothed out, is because of its corners. This is Rashi, Rashi, Havanim, Boltos, Chutz that the stones protrude outward, chin chalakois, because they're not smooth. Is that the reason? Dilma palga dechazis dechazishu. Maybe it's half of this other type of stone. Vahai tefach eseira, the reason why it's a tefach wider, is leveni orve, who? Um, and it says Rashi, bein dimus shemekan Maybe it's because you put this uh, mortar in between. So, Kedamrinan, uh, Kedamrinan, Kfisin, Arche, Lavenim, Livni. So, it's like, as we said, so Kfisin is Arche, Lavenim, Livni. Vaitef, Kesera, Laveni, for, so again, the Kfisim are half bricks, Lavenim are full bricks. So the reason why the Levanim is larger uh, is is uh, is Levni Urve. It's simply because of its width. So we're going to basically say that it's the same idea. It's because the bricks are wider, so too these stones are are wider, um, and that it's nothing to do with the the teat, the like the cement that's put in between it. How do we know that Kvisin? Are referring to these half bricks, Menon. Ella Gamma Gamirila. It's just a tradition, that's what it is. So Gvil Nami. So if that's the case, Gvil also, Amnidum Shaifa, Gamma Gamirila. It's only through tradition. Words, we don't really have a real set reason, but it's just that's what it is. And therefore, it's just the translation are stones that are smooth or non smooth stones. Ikadi Amri 
Some say it differently. Archi, I don't know. These are ninhua. These are half half stone, half bricks. Behind tefach hisera, the extra tefach is leveni orve, is because they're larger bricks. Dilma my kvisin avni delom is right? Maybe it's just talking about they're not smoothed out. Behind tefach hisera lemusha de karnosa, and maybe it's because they're protruding outward because they're not smoothed out. <coughs> it's corners. Your answer is kedamrin and gvil avni delom is we said gavil are non-smooth stones. Gozas is on the mishayim, are stones that are stones that are smoothed out. By tevich and the purpose of this extra tevach, l'mursha de karnasa, is because of the corners. So Omer Lei, what time is gavil? Avdul mishayim and menolan. How do you know that? El gamer gamil, how can I have a gamer gamil law? So it's the same thing. At the end of the day, even though we don't actually have clear-cut proof from psukim or anything, but that's how we translate it. Omer Bay, so shmami no, through. Through all this, we um, <clears throat> should be able to deduce that cold baini urve tefach. It must be between the bricks is a tefach, and that is uh, the amount that's allotted. So hanimili batina. That's only if we're applying this um, uh, that which is tina. Avo berich berichsa boitve. You were dealing berichsa. Rashi says avonim dakois small stones. The teat bein shnei hadimusois, and you need to put teat between them, so then you need more space. Vigadami hanimili be richsa. The only time that you need a tefach in between is when we're dealing with these smaller stones. Although betina will boy kuli high. Maybe you don't need it as much as as a tefach. So memory, come and tell me the guzzes that we're dealing with these smooth stones. The whole down amos goiba. Every doubt almost high, e havi pusia cham shakoi, e lo lo koi. It needs to be have a base of five tfachim wide for it to stand, otherwise, it's not going to stand. So, for it to be four amos high, it needs to be five tfachim wide. Says Rash, could it not be masnis and be gazas, zen no isent vachim mechsa, the zen no isent vachim mechsa. So it obviously tells you we're dealing with five. It's two and a half on this side. Two and a half on this side equals five. And the Daud Amos, it says, because you have to build it up until Daud Amos. Okay. Anyway, so the point clearly is, if it's got to be, we're dealing with four Amos um, in height, so therefore, which is about six feet high, a six feet high wall, you, the wall has to be five tefachim wide, or else it's going to fall off. If it's too high and very thin, it's not going to last. So, how about the amatraxin? When it came to the first base of Mikdash, when Shlomo Melch built, he had a special place called an amatraxin, in which uh, the psukim tell us in Malachim Aleph, that it was 30 almost high. However, between the Kaddish and the Kaddish Kaddashim, there was this Amatraxin. So it was 30 almost high, but it was only 6 Tfachim wide. So understand, 5 Tfachim is what's necessary for a 4 Amma wide, uh, tall wall. So if you're dealing with a 30 Amma tall wall, you would certainly anticipate it should be a lot more than 6. Hard to understand. It was only six tefachim to come. So how does that work? The answer is yeah. But let's not forget that six tefach. So it was able to physically stand even a much higher wall because of that extra tefach. Okay. So why didn't they build an avatroxin by the second base of it? The second base of Mikdash, there was there was basically two curtains. And as the Gemara and Yuma discussed, the Kain Gadol going from one Kaidish to the Kaidish Kedashim would walk in between those two curtains like in a zigzag almost to be able to um, bring them to do the Masa Kataris in Lefnai Lefnim. So why wasn't there an Amatraxin there? Why was it only by the first base of Mekdash? The answer is Ki Koi Batlasan Koi Tfei Lo Koi It was only able to stand if it was 30 almost high, that's okay. 
However, the second base of Mikdash, the wall was much higher. It says Rashi, Shahaya Goivo, it says Mea Amois. It was a hundred Amos tall, as it says Mesechlis Midos, which I think there's another gear so over here that it wasn't really that tall. Um, it says in the um, on the bottom of the Hagoy Sabach, Bebinyan Shehu Kuf, near Be'ena Nira de Zehu Tois. It's a mistake. The Hari Base, Bais Rishon Hai Goiba Gavoa Kuf Chaf Ama, Dainu Sadi Ma'aliya Rishaina, Bais Kufa Lamid, Nikin Mitish Rishon, Goiba Yoiser. Okay, but so Chlomer Mem. So, however, the Bach explains it wasn't 30 almost high, uh, 100 almost high, it was 40 almost high. Okay, all right. But nonetheless, it was it was higher up. Okay. How do we know it was taller? So we see that the first base of Mikdash, the wall wasn't, wasn't as high. So therefore they were able to have an Amatraxen. However, when we're dealing with the uh, second base of Mikdash, because it was much higher, it was 40 almost high, so therefore because of that, the Amatraxen wouldn't, wouldn't stand. This is question 7. As we're going to see the Pasuk, the covered bias, the impressiveness of the house is greater in the second base of Mikdash than the first. So one answer is, that's one answer. <clears throat> so, so again, it's, so again, it's, Bechad Oimer, it's not talking about its building, but rather Bishonim. We're talking about in years. That the second base of Mikdash was greater covered because it lasted longer. So Rashi says that Bayas Rishon Oma Dal Meas Eser was 410 years. Bayas Shani Dal Meas Eser. The second base of Mikdash was 420 years. The second base of Mikdash stood an extra 10 years. <clears throat> the Isa Laha, the Isa Laha. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, Fat Gemara. So, Velevid, Tlosin. Velevid, why don't we do um, Tlosin Ama, Bibinyan? Let the second base of Mikdash, the first 30 bit, could, could be a, 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 a um, Amatroxin. But because an extra 10 almost high, the Inuch Nevid Paroiches. So you can just put a curtain on the top. It's only going to stand because it's connected also to the top, which has pitch and all the cement connecting the top. But if you have a wall that's just standing 30 almost high, even though it's 6 tfachim wide, but it's not touching the roof, and there's just a curtain dangling down, that wall will not stand. Okay. Okay. So, fine. So, 30 amos is not, it's not going to stand. So, maybe build an amatroxin for four amos high, or maybe six amos high, and then put a curtain for the rest. So, I'm Rabbi Gimiri. You gotta do one or the other. You can't do a mixture. Ikul babinyan mimikdash. Ikul babroiches mimishkan. So in the mishkan we had a curtain as well. Eboy. So eboy lhus. Now the gemara asks a question. Hain vitzidan or dilma hain buloit sidan. What is the din? Are we including when we say the gvil that each one, let's say, gets three tfachim on each side? What does that include with the? Um, with the seed, and we'll just call it like cement or plaster, or it's maybe without. So that's the the question. This is also going to be question eight. Gavil Zed Nisan Gimot Fachim Vim Hashir Mahalo Im Hatsid O Bli Hatsid O Maharai Mishna Demais Begamar Hozeh. So we're going to see now the answer to question number eight. So Amr Av Nachum Ben Bar Yitzchak Mastabra Hain Vitzidim Mastabra that it is with it's inclusive. Because it's not including that, it's a list of the 
It should include it. It's not including it. So then, if it's not including it, so why does the Mishnah mention it? It's so insignificant, it doesn't mention it. So it mentions less than a half, less than a tefach. It says half and a half. Yeah, but hasam chazi let's A half and a half equals a whole. But we're just talking about the cement. This is not a significant amount. So therefore, it's not a riot. Tashma hakayr shamru. When we mentioned about this beam, rach rachava, it's width kedei lekabla riach. It has to be wide enough to be able to with to hold a brick. The hariach hatsi levena shel gimel tefachim, and a brick. Uh, which is is a half a levena, which is three tefachim. So hasam berav hasam berav ravasa says Rashi. <clears throat> what does that mean? So first of all, let's look at Rashi. Alma gimel tefachim de katani. The fact that it mentions three tefachim, legabi masnisin gabi levenim katani zen noisin tefach hamechsa v'zen noisin tefach hamechsa hein beloit sida. It must be without the seed. Kaimer. The Levain al-Chudah Shlosh Tvachim, because the Levain itself is three. We're answered that it's Barab Ravasa, says Rashi, Masnisen B'zut Rasa. The Im Tzidon Lo Havi El Gimel Tvachim. So there could be larger or smaller bricks, which are small in very insignificant differences. And so therefore, it's possible it could be three Tvachim, including the Tzid. Okay. So then the Gemara says, It says, So what does that mean? So it says it's three Tfachim. Why is that to mention that this brick is three Tfachim? It's mashma that they're not all three Tfachim. Okay, so let's see the answer number eight. The answer is, hey, it's including with it, Sid. Why? Midinan. The Erevin, the Hareach, Chatsi Levena, Shol Gimel Tvachim. That Hareach is half a Levena of three Tvachim. The Chal, the Ikamas Nisan, Levena, the Pachas Mid Gimel Tvachim. It must be there's a Levena which is less than three Tvachim. Behind Umas Nisan, the Hacha. That's what our Mishnah is talking about. Beim Kain, Gimel Tvachim, the Tani Imat Sidhu. Therefore, it's actually not referring to three Tvachim. It's talking about a brick which is a little bit less than three Tvachim, and therefore the three Tvachim is together to include the Tzid. Okay. Okay. All right. Vaiter. Oyim Rav Chista lo lister inish be kanista ad the bani be kanista chriti. Interesting. You're not allowed to build, uh, de- demolish rather shul a until shul b is built. Egan yamis am mishum say mishum pishiusa says Rashi because dimas srami oynis who pashiv lo yisa chriti. You may end up something may happen. You may end up rebuilding it. Egan yamis mishum saluye. Another possible is. What are you supposed to do as far as davening? Kolzman habinyan. The whole time that you're building it, there's nowhere for anyone to daven. Okay. So you can have a mishum saluyi. So my binayu. What's the difference? You can binayu the ika be kenis tachriti. There's another shul. So then, of course, if there's another shul, so you can go daven there. In the meanwhile, mareimar marzutra sasri ubanu be kaita be sitva ubanu be sitva mikatya. Says Rashi. They would um, build a Beisach Nesas HaYolohem Limosachayr. There was a shul in the winter months. Nomuch, Miksolem. Rechavim, which was um, low in walls, and it's wide, and had Chilonos Muat, and very few windows. And they had sinned because of the cold. So they had these two different shuls, right? So therefore... Um, because because of that, uh, it, it wasn't wasn't a problem, because they uh, had uh, a shul for the winter and then a shul for the for the summer, and therefore uh, that wasn't uh, an issue. So this actually is going to be eventually question number nine, um, which asks. So one of them is based on this, that Maremar Marzutra, that they would demolish and build um, different ones which were not during the season. So a summer shul, they could demolish in the winter. 
it wasn't an issue. And Tosis over here says, Bekatio um, Besisva, Havi Kamo Ika Tiuha. It's comparable to the cases we're going to see that it's not structurally sound. The Shari. Uh, and that's the reason why it's allowed to, to be demolished uh, because it's not fit to be used during that season anyway. It's either too hot or it's too cold. Um, there are two different places. So we're talking about a case where it's um, not structurally sound uh, for for each of its purposes. Another idea is there is another shoal. It's not really a big deal if you don't build it because it was two shoals. So even though maybe one's a little bit, one's not comfortable, the whole issue is if there's not, if there aren't two shoals. The whole issue is, as we one mentions, one of the issues is there's a place to daven. We're not concerned because of cold, you may be negligent. Perhaps what that, what Toysus is alluding to is that a person knows if it's going to be freezing, you're going to need to build this other shul. So we're not concerned of pshusa. Okay, I am Tysus. Armuli Rabino Ravashi. Govu Zuze Umach Semai. What if you already collected the money <clears throat> for the sake of a new Besach Neses? So can you knock down the first one? Is there an issue of pshusa? Armulhu Dilma Misramulhu Pidin Shmuyin. Uh, if there's some other mitzvah which is a pressing need you may end up using that money for that purpose so therefore it's an element of pshusa still shrigi livni vahadre hudri says rashi masudarim levenim let's say you already have all the bricks everything prepared you have everything there hadre hudri mashufin masukonim you have everything prepared uh, for the roof and everything my Umaxik Shuri have all the beams. Armali Zim the Misramal who pinion shvuyan Mizabni Vivahu. So the problem still is that you may end up um selling these raw materials so in order to be able to get money for opinion shvuan. So you hook if you a nami, maybe a person for opinion shvuan will sell the shul. So you can always have that problem. So Armalay uh Diarti the inchi lomazami. Literally, the, the dwelling place of a person they're not going to, to sell. In other words, once it's built, it's built. But if it's not built, you can say, okay, well, let's sell these raw materials. Therefore, it's still an issue of pshusa. Vo amron elwa doloy chazi as we said. The whole time, this is an issue if it's structurally safe. But if you see that there's mamish something wrong, that it's falling apart, so then you're allowed to uh, knock it down because it's not safe. He saw that there was some problem, problem some structural issue in the city of Machasia in which uh, the Beis HaKnesses had this problem. So, so he again he um, recognized that he was able to uh, to to take care of this uh, to take care of this issue uh, right away. Says Rashi, He brought his like bed there. So basically, he made sure that this was actually going to be built. Even though it was not structurally sound, Ubaba ben Buta hechi atzvi le eitzel hordus le mystery le besach hamikdash. So we have an issue with Baba ben Buta's. We're going to see the story that he gave hordus um, the advice to re to reconstruct the the base of mikdash, to beautify and to enhance the base of mikdash. Yerem al chista le lister inish bekanista the bani bekanista chriti. We know, based on what we just said, you can't re, you can't knock down in, in order to be rebuilt. So, how did he advise Hordas to do this? 
So Imoy say Matira Chazabe. Maybe there was actually something not structurally sound with the second base of Mekdash, therefore he rebuilt it. Imoy say Mahusa Shiny. Maybe when we're dealing with a king of Hordus had the status like a Melech, Deloy Hadrabe, he's not going to uh, retract. You don't have to worry when it comes to a king. If someone, if a guy says, uproot a mountain, that's it. He's going to uproot the mountain. That's all there is to say. So there's not, there's, you don't have uh, to worry about Pshusa. So these are the three answers. Either there's some, some structural problem. Or Mahusa Deloy Hadurbe, like by Hordas, or Be Katia de Besasma, etc., as we saw in, in Tysus. Okay. Um Viter. Hordus Abdel Bes Hashminoi Havi. So Hordus, in which was quite problematic, he was a very interesting character. He did a lot of great things as far as construction, but he also had a did a lot of not such great things we're gonna see. He was uh, an related. He was an avda the base of Hashmonoi. He was like an, a slave to the base of Hashmonoi. Nosen einov boiso tinaikis. So he cast his eyes on a, a girl who was related to the Hashmonoi in order for him to link himself to Malchus to justify his his uh, position. Yomachad shama hu gavra bas kola di armer. He heard a, va- a, a, a heavenly voice that said. Any king that uh, any uh, rather evid, any uh, slave that rebels is going to be successful. Come uh, So he got up and he ended up killing a whole lot of people. Uh, he basically wiped all of them out, but he left this one girl. He he the Kaboyla Mitzvah, so she was obviously not very pleased about it. So when she realized that she was the only one left, and it was obviously for the sake of marrying Hordus, which was not something what she was excited about, Slikla Igra, she went to the top of the roof, Vrama Kohen, she screamed out, Anyone who says I come from Chashmanoi, Abdahu. There's all, he's, it's obviously an Evid. I'm the only one left. And she fell from the roof and she basically killed herself. Therefore, Hordus was an Evid. And therefore, if anyone, because he killed out all of Hashmanoyim, uh, uh, all of the Hashmanoyim, so therefore it must be if he claims that he comes from the Hashmanoyim, he's actually an Evid. Okay. So Tamna Shevashnin Baduvsha, this is an unbelievable statement that Hordus um, Hordus took this woman and he preserved her body uh, in honey. <clears throat> Some say that he actually acted as husband and wife with this dead girl. So Vigadami Dulobolaha. The reason why he <clears throat> uh, preserved her body was for him to be able to um, still physically be with her to tame his Yetzirah. The reason why he preserved her body in order that he could still say that he married a Bas Melech. So she, he pretended that she was alive, even though she really wasn't, which again tells us a lot about who Hordus was, and we'll learn more about who Hordus will be, was in tomorrow's daf. Adkan.